Hi, I'm Dr. Marty Ross. In this video, I talk about yeast overgrowth and Lyme disease in the intestinal tract. I describe why it's a problem, and I describe the best ways to figure out if you have this. For more information, uh, to see a written article that I've written about this, click on the link in the description of this video. Treat Lyme is supported by purchases you make through Marty Ross MD Supplements. So first of all, yeast can be a problem in Lyme um, when they grow too much in the intestines. Our intestines are loaded with both good bacteria and yeast, and they keep each other under control. If you get too many yeast living in the intestines, the immune system reacts against them by making uh, more inflammation chemicals called cytokines. In addition, um, toxins are released uh, from the yeast that make it so you can have brain dysfunction. They also trigger more inflammatory cytokines too. Now, many of you are familiar with the idea that I um, discuss in, in many places throughout the Treat Lyme book that yeast um, and other uh, situations that lead to increased cytokines make your Lyme symptoms worse. And that's because Lyme disease is actually a syndrome of excess cytokines, all right? So just quickly, cytokines are made by the immune system. They turn on the immune system. But in Lyme, the immune system doesn't do a good job, and eventually the immune system makes too many cytokines. Too many cytokines make it so you don't think. Um, they disturb your sleep. They give you fatigue. They give you body pain. I can go through the whole list of Lyme disease symptoms, but they're actually excess cytokine symptoms. Yeast triggers the same problem and can make it look like you're doing worse. So how do you figure out if you have too many yeast? Well, at the beginning of treatment, it is sometimes difficult. It's not obvious. And to help figure that out, I like using a screening questionnaire that looks to see, do you have risk factors of yeast? And it also helps examine the various symptoms you might have indicating yeast, as well as looks at the intensity of those symptoms. On that screening questionnaire, if you score over 140 points, it is an indication based on my experience that treating for too many intestinal yeast will make a difference in how you're feeling. Now that question, uh, that questionnaire is located in a link below this video, so feel free to click on that um, uh, later. Um, now, the reason I don't like using uh, cultures uh, to see if you have too many yeast is that, you know, all of us have yeast that live in our intestines. So if we do a culture for it, well, we're going to see yeast. It doesn't indicate whether there's too many. I know some of my colleagues also like doing blood tests to see if we have too many antibodies against yeast. Well, we all have yeast living in our intestines, so we're going to have antibodies. It doesn't prove that you have too many yeast, okay? So at the beginning of treatment, fill out the yeast screening questionnaire that I, that I just talked about. If you score over 140, it's time to treat your intestinal yeast. So what do you do in the middle of treatment? Well. In the middle of treatment, it's time to think about yeast if you have some obvious symptoms, like in a woman, vaginal itching and vaginal discharge, okay? But also, you should start thinking about yeast if you've had a decline in how you're doing, especially after a better period of time. In my experience, in that type of a situation, 90% of the time that a person has a decline after doing better, it is due to too many yeasts living in the intestines. So things that would make you think about too many yeast in that situation is increased sugar cravings, uh, intestinal gassiness or bloating, um, rectal itching, vaginal itching or vaginal discharge, difficulty swallowing. People that have yeast sometimes will have too many yeast in the food pipe and it can feel like things get caught. A uh, person might also have increased soreness of the mouth or lesions in the mouth too. And one of the things that I find to be most interesting is that when people have too many yeast, they often develop acne or worsened skin rash too. And when you see that happen in the middle of a Lyme disease treatment, it's a first sign that a person might have too many yeast living in their intestines, all right? And then there is a special situation that I just alluded to. If you are doing worse in your treatment after a period of time of doing better, absolutely look into thinking, look into having too many yeast. And if your doctor and you explore other reasons why you could be doing worse, like one of your co-infections got more active, and it, and it does not look like it's a worsening co-infection, and even if you don't have symptoms of too many yeast, 90% of the time in my experience, it still means you have too many yeast living in the intestines. So consider getting the yeast treated in that type of a situation.